Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about JSON. There's a great website, randomuser.me, that will give you fake random user information that you can use in projects. I'm going to get that, and you can see by default, it gives you JSON output. We're gonna pipe that into JQ dot and it will nicely format it for you. Let's say I want to grab one of these pictures and let's say I want the large one. And it's a simple example like this. I can just say grep large and luckily enough it, that does give me the line that I want. But especially when you get into bigger files, it might be a little bit harder to grep through it. So we actually want to use the JQ tool because that's what it's designed to do. How do I know how to get to that? There's JSON nested inside JSON with arrays inside the JSON. What do we do? We need to know the, the keys. When we pipe it into JQ, we can give it the command of keys and it will show us the first level of keys here. We have info and results. We want the results. So I can come in here and I can say dot results and it will give me everything inside results. But we still, again, we have other things nested inside other things. So we want the keys for that as well. So after we get results, we're gonna say pipe keys all inside the same quotation and it will give me the keys for the next level. This is an array, they don't have names, they're just numbers. So I wanna view it as an array. So I'm gonna say results dot results and then give it the brackets since this is an array. And now I can get the keys for that. And inside here we can see picture. So I'm going to take that and I'm gonna say dot picture and I get the keys for that. And now we can see large, medium and thumbnail. And so now I know I'm at where I want so I can just say dot large and it will give me the results of the values of all those large pictures. Uh, by default, it gives you with quotations around it. If you don't want the quotations, you can do dash R and that will just give you the raw data without the quotations if you prefer that. I hope you found this useful because I know that there's been many websites where I go to and you get these large JSON files that have a lot of things. Uh, JSON nests inside JSON, inside arrays, inside JSON. And sometimes you, you know, it's hard to go through and figure out what it is you need. So be able to break it down with the keys is use, super useful. <laughs> Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description of my website. I hope you found this useful and I hope that you have a great day.